Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're well and I hope I catch you at the right time today. I would like to start by saying welcome to all of the new subscribers because the channel has seen really an increase in subscriber count. I think we're running in about 400 new subscribers a month, which is really good and we're really growing towards the 5,000. So welcome everyone and I hope you enjoy the channel. Also, thank you to the older subscribers and commentators. People like Drew M or Patricia Taylor, you guys have been really uh, at the core of the comments. I mean, Drew, you've been really commenting a lot on the recipes and interacting with people, which is great. Keep on doing this, guys. Talk with each other. Talk to me. I'm a human. You can talk to me. And that's great. Today, in terms of recipe, we're doing a subscriber request as well. Someone asked me to make a filet mignon. But because I don't have too much money, the filet mignon that you know in America is made with beef, a fillet of beef, but that's a bit too expensive. We're going to do the Porzman version, the French version, the pork medallion. That's what we know as a filet mignon in France. Recipe of the day today, pork medallion with a creamy mushroom and port sauce. It's a delicious recipe. It's actually part of our book. We need to learn how to make a sauce based on creamy product. So let's get started. All right, for the recipe of the day, pork medallions with a mushroom and port sauce. So very briefly, for the pantry, I'm using pork fillet. They're gonna become the pork medallions, flour, butter, mushrooms, salt and pepper, already pre-mixed, port, pure cream, and here I've got a supercharged homemade stock. It's actually a chicken stock that I prefer using when it's a white meat. Now, let's get started and see how we prepare that recipe. All right, let's start. The first thing you're going to do is your mushroom. I've taken my mushrooms and I've cut them in thin slices of half a millimeter. I've got my heat here on a medium to high and I'm putting just some butter. I'm not using oil. All right. When the butter is ready, pour all the mushrooms in. Okay. Now mushrooms, we're gonna pan fry them. It's very simple, they're gonna reduce. You can put your heat on high. I'm using just salt, no pepper. And I'm gonna wait until they get nice and sizzle, nice and brownish. A few minutes in, you're gonna get a lot of water coming out of the mushroom. Don't panic. You're not doing anything wrong. This is normal. This is the water, the vegetation water coming out of the mushroom. Let them sit in here until the water reduces. Okay, when the water is gone, you're gonna get this type of stuff. It's trying to get a bit golden. It starts to color. So when you're there, just give a bit of a shake in your pan. Make sure they don't attach to the bottom. And just finish to cook them for maximum another minute or two. You don't want them to burn. You want this nice kind of color. Now this is roughly the color you want. When this is ready, put the heat off and you reserve the mushrooms in a clean container on the side. Now that the mushrooms are done, we're going to be cutting our pork medallion. So a lot of people are asking, you know, how to get it right, etc. The size we usually uh, recommend, it's two inches or five centimeter. So what we're going to do, we take one piece, then I'm going to move it again here to make sure you get the same size over and over again. And you can repeat the process. You may have some little off cut that you can reserve. Okay. Once this is done, I'll show you an example. What we do in France, we first by seasoning slightly the mix, salt and pepper. Okay. Roll them in the salt and pepper, make sure it's seasoned all over. All right, when you got that, I'm going to take this one as an example. Use flour. This is flour. You don't see it. It's a bit blurry in the background. We roll the meat in the flour. You then tap it to remove the excess of flour. And this is what you get. Okay, when that's done, reserve it here. Now you take the same one, every single piece, and you repeat the process. So from here, we're going to have to multitask a little bit. I put my heat on medium high under my pan, nudge of butter, and I'm going to put a little bit of oil as well for the medallions. They go very quick. I'm also putting a pan here 
on medium heat and I'm gonna put my cream because we want it to reduce a little bit because before we're gonna be able to use it same thing for the pan here I've got a fern pad running it goes on low heat I'm just warming up my stock okay my butter and oil start to foam and this is the time to put the medallions in you don't have to cook them on a very very high fire so make sure they stand like that and we're just gonna put them all next to each other so the timing usually for five centimeter two, in two inches piece it's three minutes on each side to start with so I'm gonna leave them like that for three minutes and then turn them around three minutes are fast now it's time to turn them on the other side be very careful and you should get that nice kind of oops, brownish color so you turn them all and when they're all turned on the other side another three minutes on the side also make sure you look at your cream while this is cooking it doesn't want to boil too much you want to reduce it by a quarter okay done another three minutes and now to finish we're gonna put one minute on the side to make sure they're nice and cooked all over now be careful if you got smaller pieces they might not stand like that you can put in between the other pieces and try to do one minute on each side I've turned off my cream because it's thick enough how do you see if the cream is ready take a spoon like that look at the cream if you do this and you see that mark it doesn't fall it means it's ready all right done you don't want any more color I'm gonna take the smaller pieces you reserve them in the container because these one are ready and what you're gonna do you're gonna reserve all the meats and put them in a preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius or but maybe 250 Fahrenheit I forgot to say you have to preheat your oven before I'm gonna leave this one a little bit more because they're a bit thicker and now for the sauce first thing you're gonna put you put your heat a bit higher and we're gonna start by deglazing as before I've removed the excess of fat in the pan I'm gonna first put my port okay I'm gonna then add a bit of my cream I'm gonna stir it a little bit okay so the cream has to be a bit thick all right and already we're gonna start to have the core of the sauce that forms so make sure the sauce or the cream is well incorporated then you put the rest that's it and then you let it gently cooked and reduce a little bit while removing all these juices at the bottom of the pan don't worry we will filter the sauce after so you got a little bit floating around it's not a problem okay now as always I've cleaned my pan look at this it is not burned I've just detached all of the juices next step from here I'm gonna add my stock to really really add some taste to the sauce because at the end of the day your sauce is really defined by the quality of your stock and this is extremely important in this type of sauces the main taste come from the juices of the meat and the stock so same thing here you reduce until you get that nice consistency okay when you got the consistency what we're gonna do we're gonna first taste the sauce spot on maybe a hint of salt and pepper extra but really not much I think I'm almost there and then I'm gonna filter that mix in here when it's done I'll take you back on the camera and that's it look at that and of course what do we miss the mushrooms so they've been staying on the side and we're gonna let them infuse nicely because we always want to have a clean sauce so you see what I had all this pigmentation of brownish and stuff that looks a bit worrying you don't want that in your plate what we end up with 
is exactly that kind of mix. So if I take my spoon away, I'll try to show you a little bit. You see? It's very clean. It's thick, but not too thick. And it's going to go perfectly with our medallion. I'm going to try it. Mm. Well, I'm telling you, it's not bad at all. Okay, let's dress up the plate now. All right, I don't have much at my disposal. I'm going to use that uh, white plate. So very uh, quickly, the first thing I'm going to do is try to use that trick, you know, with the rice. I've got some uh, special yellow rice and I'm going to put it, uh, let's say, on the side. If it works. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Then I'm going to add the, ah, it's hot, uh, the medallions. So I'm trying to get the, maybe the good looking ones. Otherwise, it's a nightmare, sorry. Okay, boom. And can we fit another, maybe a third one? I've, I've always heard and an read on magazine, they say, you know, you have to serve uh, uneven numbers. Uh, I'm gonna try to put the sauce around, but I'm gonna do the French style, which is in France, we basically, we're gonna cover, <laughs> cover them in sauce. That's a bit too much sauce. Okay, so we can still see a little bit of the meat. And to make it uh, a bit more appealing, maybe you can try to hide a piece of uh, a piece of dill. Anyway, that will complete our video for the day. I hope you like the recipe. And if you like the content, of course, like always, please comment, subscribe, and join us on the French Cooking Academy. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. It's really, really great. You're all great. So thank you very much. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.